No. Um... Inside Studio A, the members of Two Live to Screw are carrying on a lively conversation. If only you could hear their conversation. Well, we could always go in here. It feels like a studio door. Let's try three, three, oh, three, four. Hmm, you hear no sound from the door. That must not be the right number. Who? Hmm. Three, three, oh, three, four. Ah! Apparently this is the wrong one. Let's try over here. PC Hammer, as the man Desmond says, is linked to much of the evil doings here at Crap Radio. It's a good thing your disguise is working out so well, you certainly wouldn't want him to notice you. Let's try this one. Three, three, oh, three, four. You hear the doors lock quick. This one worked. Tape which record. Ah. It's no tape onto which rec to record. Um. Where is their digital equipment? Can't you get a reel off the shelves in the back? Well, she said they're much too high up for... Oh, I know, she's gonna get one anyway. They're too high for me! Oh, okay, I'll grab one. <laughs> <laughs> you place your tape on the recorder, carefully threading it around the tension arms over the heads and past the capstan, finishing the thread well, by threading the leader into the take-up reel with a professional flourish. You know what you're doing. What's the use of recording silence? There's nothing currently being fed on this deck. Hmm. Console contains many knobs, sliders, meters, and buttons. Which one will you choose? Well, let's look at it. This one says... What's happening on that one? You hear nothing but hiss. Hear nothing but hiss. You pull up the slider labeled Control Root B and hear what sounds like female breathing. Oh wait, that's you, you're in Control Room B. You raise the volume on Studio B. You hear nothing. Apparently he's not doing anything. You carefully open the slider on control room A, as if PC Hammer could hear you doing so. He's recording his live drive time shows for tomorrow morning. Who cares? Okay. Hmm. You fade up the volume on Studio A. And listen to that. What's that? Oh, why, that's too live to screw, Patty. You did it. Now you can overhear their conversation. How can you take it? Hmm. But how can you get some hard evidence to take back to Inspector Desmond to prove you're really hearing this? Well, turn on the recorder, my dear. You turn on the reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. D do we actually get to find out what they were saying? As you record True Life to Screw, you giggle with delight as they thoroughly incriminate themselves. Hmm. What's that? PC Hammers, what's that PC Hammers doing? He looks like he's seen your recording sign and he doesn't look too happy about that. Oh shit. Oh, oh, where did Hammer go? Oh no, PC Hammer has noticed the recording sign over the 
window of control room B, realizing you're not an engineer, is heading for your room. Oh, the bastard has locked us in. Base has been updated. Why, thank you, Avast. <laughs> um, blocking the only way out of the control room with that heavy microphone stand, he heads for the elevator. You're in trouble now, Patty. But not you, Avast. You're never in trouble. Wait, what's that? By carefully staring across the lobby through the control room, you notice that PC Hammer punching an access key into the keys keep out of the shower elevator. From this angle of his fingers and the movement of his hands, you learn the secret code. Knowing that code, you could escape this area and return upstairs. Now, if only you could find a way out of this room. Well, we should stop this and take it with us. Turn off the recorder. Yeah. Oh, she's rewinding. She's a smart girl. Be kind. Rewind. Cape is now fully rewound. Take it with you, Patty. We remove it. Oh. I know it has something to do with I've got to put the speaker up against the window, but I don't remember how to do that. What happens if we just, uh,. Oh, you crank up the volume on your control room's monitor speakers until it's your ear piercing level. Go ahead, speak, Patty. What about your hearing? Taking a possible, <laughs> biggest possible diaphragmic breath, you lean back and belt out your most powerful high C directly into the microphone, through the powerful amplifiers, and out through the control room monitor speakers. And it broke. But now you are deaf, Patty. Is it Patty or is it Memorex? What? What? What is Memorex? I never got that when I was oh. younger. It's it's a brand. There's a brand of recording media uh, called Memorex, and their slogan is "Is it live or is it Memorex?" Ah. Uh, punching in the access code you learn by watching PC Hammer, you are able to ride the shower veda back to John Crapper's bathroom. Luckily, luckily, no one noticed your clothes lying on the floor there, with the, uh, pistol bra sitting in there. Putting on your dress and gathering up your possessions, you sneak back through the receptionist's lobby door and wait for her to take a break before making the safety to your patiently waiting limo. And we were too bored to animate this, apparently. Black screen. Or they ran out of disk space. Yeah, yes. Home, Bobby! You signal to your driver and he nods in a ready agreement. That should have been, Home, Bobby! Oh, Bobby, I forgot to use my voice. I don't mind. As you drift off to sleep, you begin to dream. Hmm. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Oh, you shout in your dream. I just love it when you do that. I just hope my three nephews don't come in about now. Ah, uh, it's Scrooge McDuck. Which is why I gave him a Scottish accent. Oh, I... Can I drop all this money on you, Patty? <laughs> Meanwhile, in a plane far, far away. In a time back in the 90s. During our absence, your dream of passionate Patty's Taj Mahal concert, concert, <laughs> concert has regressed. Late at night, the gig is over. The amps and drums packed in the road cases, and it's now just time for the two of you, relaxing together on a couple of overstuffed cushions, emotionally drained, to calm herself and prepare you for the long evening ahead. Oh, sorry, for the evening ahead. Patty pay plays a little selection on her oboe. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Snake. Uh, you soon realize that the snake is not the only thing Patty has charmed. Oh! Oops! Um. Oh, Larry. Please tighten your seat belts and return your tray tables to their upright, <laughs> fully upright and locked positions. We'll be landing momentarily. You hope none of the other passengers notice that your your tray table is already up. Oh. Oh, Larry. And uh, we're out of time, and we'll be back in the next video. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.